video is about banana necrotic nematodes. It will explain to you field symptom identification, prevention measures, and possible control measures. How can you identify symptoms caused by necrotic nematodes? Banana root nematodes are microscopic worms. Nematodes feed on the roots causing them to rot and die prematurely. This reduces the ability of the plant to take up water and nutrients. The rotten roots reduce the anchorage of the plant. The weak roots cause the plants to topple, particularly in strong winds and with maturing bunches. Nematode damage can cause major losses through reduced bunch sizes and toppled plants. The loss of plants also shortens plantation lifespan. All East African highland bananas are susceptible. There are several types of banana nematodes and the most damaging ones are called Radophilus similis, Helicotolinca species, Platylinca species. How to prevent nematode damage? Nematodes are nearly always spread to new fields by using infested suckers that come from farms where nematodes are already a problem. In order to overcome this problem, it's important that you use clean plant materials such as tissue culture plants or macro-propagated plants that were potted in sterilized soils. Alternatively, you can remove nematodes from suckers by pairing and hot water treatment. Pairing is the process whereby all roots are removed and the comb surface is peeled to make it clean. It's like peeling a potato. Boiling water treatment is a process whereby the paired sucker is dipped into boiling water for 30 seconds. You can estimate the 30 seconds by using a hand clock or stopwatch on your mobile phones. The boiling kills any nematodes and eggs that may have remained on the surface of the comb after pairing. Please note, leaving suckers in boiling water too long kills the sucker. Another way of combating nematodes is to use tithonia plant residues at planting. Tithonia is commonly known as wild sunflower. Tithonia can be cut and placed fresh in the planting hole. Nematodes don't like tithonia and the presence of tithonia residues prevents early infestation of bananas. In addition, the tithonia application will provide nutrients to the banana plant. Application of manure in the planting hole will also allow the plant to grow vigorously. How can you control nematodes? Application of mulch as surface coverage regularly promotes plant vigor, which can help plants to better tolerate nematode attacks. Most plant residues are good to mulch with. Another option to control nematodes is the use of tolerant or resistant varieties. Known tolerant or resistant varieties are Kilometer 5, Fia 17, Fia 23, which are high yielding and can be good substitutes for susceptible local varieties for dessert and brewing. Lastly, you can also choose to rotate bananas with crops such as cassava and sweet potato. Such a rotation helps to break the nematode cycle and reduces the nematode pressure when the bananas are replanted. In this video about nematodes, you have looked at necrotic nematodes and the problem they cause which include root necrosis, banana toppling, reduced bunch sizes, and plantation lifespan shortening. We have mentioned prevention methods which include the use of nematode-free planting materials such as tissue-cultured or macro-propagated plants, paired and hot water treated suckers. Cultural means such as the use of tithonia or manure in the planting hole. The use of mulch on the soil surface. Planting tolerant varieties like Kilometer 5, Fia 17, Fia 25. Where nematode damage is high, rotating with another crop like cassava is beneficial.